All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Fruit Baskets Season 2, Episode 1. Um, firstly, if you don't know about Fruit Baskets, it is a remake of the 2001 uh, Shoujo Romance uh, anime. Manga? Anime. Um, so, yeah, it was quite popular back then. They decided to make a remake in 2019, and now this is Season 2. Uh, I think I made my YouTube channel this YouTube channel just as season one was airing or had finished airing i'm not too sure in 2019 and uh, i did enjoy it i enjoyed it it was kind of like a nice change of pace of the usual stuff i watch um i have watched all the romance before but this was more like you could tell the styling of it was very based off the 2001 version of how romance anime was back then so um yeah i kind of uh, i knew it the season two was coming i didn't realize it was coming today and i saw it was out and i was like oh okay i'm gonna start and um i hope it's uh, i hope it goes well for the channel i enjoy the series so i'll be watching it regardless and yeah a bit of cool difference in anime that i watch normally and anime that i'll react to so hopefully it goes well uh and yeah let's get right into the series right now um, it's also gonna likely take me a while to get used to the characters and their names and stuff again. <laughs> I did one of the things I did love in this anime was the comedy, but it was also like quite tear jerking at times and very touching with the characters and whatnot. I think her name's Toru. Look at her. Oh, nice. <laughs> Yuki. Toru, I'm pretty sure. It's just one of his fangirls. I thought this anime was so cool, like how it did... Um is that lag or was it? No, it was just that slow. This anime was so cool how it was like the idea with um, Chinese Zodiacs and stuff. And like going through each episode, it's like, oh, who's going to be which Zodiac? Like, what animal is he, the, is she? It was just cool. Uh, very chill opening. I, got, I like the involvement with the side characters as well. Not just the main... Zodiac family and we get to know more about this guy this season. You can see by the characters as well, even though it is like a redesign and remake. Like and it was the same in season one that um they're very, you know, early two thousands styled. Just remade to how they look now. I think this should have had more reactors too last season. I saw a few. And obviously it was more aimed at like the female audience. But it shouldn't be. It's not wrong to enjoy stuff like this. It's nice. And we, I saw some of the male reactors. And I was like yeah. I think I'll start this on season 2. I'll start reacting to this. So totally yeah. Oh, okay. How far after season one does this start then? Yeah, it's just a quick recap. I can generally remember what happens, but... <laughs> I like the animals are always dead cute in their forms. <laughs> that guy's cool. The, uh, the grey haired, he's the cow, I think. Or the bull. He's cool. Ox, maybe? I don't know. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, Kyo. Kyo. Yuki. Taru. Oh, yeah, that was so crazy. Like, that, towards the end of the uh, season, finding that out. Yeah, and that was their... Uh, 
leader of the family. <laughs> yeah, literally, he's like a manga artist, but he barely ever works. <laughs> But uh, calm down. <laughs> Literally every romance protagonist male ever. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Yugi, you're not lame. <laughs> student council and student council presidents are always like the fucking game the law in anime <laughs> they have more power than the actual head teachers and stuff <laughs> okay <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> he sounds like, um, damn, what's his name? To the main guy in Konosuba. Kazuma. Kazuma, Kazuma. <laughs> the student council president. I think he's got the same voice actor. And she sounds like... She sounds like darkness. Is it darkness? From Konosuba too? I always hear voice actors I recognise. The <laughs> 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 Uh, what's going on? Who's this? Oh, it's that girl. No, 
Who is it? It's her. Yeah. No. It's not that girl, is it? It's not the same girl. Who's this? <laughs> okay. Oh, I'll hate you over there. <laughs> This dude's wild. It's not the same girl then. What? Oh, he seems like a coffee head. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh dear, it's got his work hard for him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's older, bro. Huh? Oh, I thought that was the same dude. That is Kazuma, right? Yeah, it has to be. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. Is this dude's just part of personality just completely this or is he going to have a little underline into his personality we'll that we'll find out about? It's usually every character in the show. <laughs> Uh, like Power Rangers. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, I suppose. Is he gay? Is it just fan service? I don't know. <laughs> oh. I can't read this dude. I feel like a lot of people who willingly say they are dumb 
are kind of punted on. Do, 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 ding. <laughs> well, at least she cleaned up. Oh, of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cleaned up. <laughs> Never mind. Fine line between genius and sanity. Not wrong. Oh no, this is back to the girl that's obsessed with. God, it's such a girly room. Girls' rooms do not look like this. <laughs> oh, it's going to be like one word or something. No way did you say that. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. You're fucking crazies. <laughs> She's fucking mine. <laughs> <laughs> no, really? Or, you know, he's in the school student council present room or whatever. Good start. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. What is Nato? Kanker sauce. <laughs> I want to Google what natto is real quick. <laughs> oh, it's made from soybeans. Okay. She's going to have a heart attack. <laughs> True. It's all because of Teru. Hopefully, he deserves it. Yep. Don't touch what? Is 
she kind of realizing that like she should just let be what's gonna be and what's best for him is not her interfering I would suppose yeah but terror is good for him yeah yeah Yeah. <laughs> I can see that. Yeah. All well and good. <laughs> You're not the main girl, though. <laughs> nice to see you again, Teru. Haven't seen you for the last 15 minutes. <laughs> Oh, it's all over. What a nice, wholesome little episode one. I'll watch for the ending. I probably won't say much. I'll leave my thoughts till afterwards. Such a goddamn chill ending. Oh, I like that. Alright, so that was Fruit Baskets, Fruit Baskets Season 2, Episode 1, 2020. Um, very nice start to the season. Um, mostly, I just want to say, seeing Yuki now, compared to how he was maybe midway through last season, or partly through scattered through the last season, very nice. Like, his life has changed for the better. He can see things more brightly now, mainly because of Toru and his family, and getting along better with his family and stuff like that, again, because of Toru. So basically just Toru. Um, but it's just nice. It's nice having her being the warming, caring character that can change these characters' lives. Um, 
That's what I like about the series. And, uh, yeah, hopefully it's going to be a nice season. It'll be a bit of drama, a bit of sad, some more sad times to come, I think. But compared to last season, I think it'll be a lot, a lot more positive, hopefully. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day. See you next week. And peace out.